And, and then obviously the playoffs as well, you're scoring a goal. I think you won a penalty in, in the final as well. Such a quick change from, from not even having a major professional debut to playing at Wembley. Yeah, it's, it's one of them and it's like about never giving up. And I've, so many times I thought I've had enough, you know, of uh, sort of banging your head against the wall sometimes. Because it is about opinions and, you know, one manager's opinion can actually sort of hold you back. So, uh, you know, I was thinking of going back to, I was going to go and work with my dad, who was a, who was a roofer, so I'd go and do that, because I had no education. So it was, I was at that point, that, you know, that, that crossroads in my life, if you like, where, and I'm so glad that my dad talked me into, you know, stick at it, you, you know, there's something around the corner, you know, you're too good, if you like. He was trying to boost me, you're too good to, to give up, and, you know, I'm glad he said that. So a great loan spell then, promotion, you signed for Leicester City in, in the Premier League. Martin O'Neill, the manager, what did you first make of him? Yeah, it was great to me, I think, because I was, I was on loan. You know, I wasn't actually one of the, I wasn't actually a Leicester City player as such. Um, and all he did, which Glenn Oddle never, was breathe me with confidence. You know, you are a good player, you're doing great for us. And I was like, blimey, actually someone actually thinks I'm a good player apart from my dad. Do you know what I mean? It was one of them sort of things, and he sort of picked me up, picked me up. Um, and after a while, you thought, you know what, I am, I am good enough to play in this team. And the confidence was sky high after that. That's what he was great at. He, not, not with just me, but with any player that played under him. You know, we had a, like a genius about him that you, you couldn't quite put your, put your finger on, but everyone was sort of, you knew where you stood with him, you knew how he wanted you to play. There was never a grey area. There was never oh, I didn't know how to do that. It was never like that. Everyone knew their role. And I think that's what made it such a success.